Hey guys, this is Miss Guyana Tia, and I'll be doing a half wig and makeup inspired by Everyday Minerals tutorial. Um, I really like Everyday Minerals. It's really light, and um, I live in South Florida, so it gets really, really hot, and I don't, it doesn't leave your face greasy. So, I really like this. Um, and mine is in semi-matte base, and, um, uh, I'm also using for an eye, um, base, I'll be using Revlon Natural Beyond in medium, deep, medium deep. So, I'll go ahead and shake some of the powder out, and you won't need a lot, and I also have a blush called New Shoes. It was a sample from Everyday Minerals because if you buy something you can still get a free sample. So it's really convenient and I prefer this brush. It's the Mineral Effects All Over brush. It works really really good because as you can see I have spots everywhere and it really makes them disappear so that's where I went. And I tap it and I just start dabbing it. Just like that. And I did corner on my hair. My grandma did it for me. So, you see how much it's grown since July. So, very convenient. And I get below my eyes. And then I just swirl, I tap, and I just blend it in, just like that. I stopped wearing the Maybelline airbrush one because it was way breaking my skin out like whoa so I wouldn't prefer that unless it's it's kind of like MAC like you don't want to wear MAC all the time because it'll break your skin out like only when you're going out and that's kind of how I wear that one I wouldn't use it for like everyday use anymore so I'm going just like that boom boom And then I apply another coating of it, like that, and on my forehead, on my neck, and on my forehead. And then I use this kind of poofy brush, it's really soft, and I just kind of blend it in. That way it just lays on top of it. And then for my eyebrows, I have my eyebrow brush. I have my eyeliner, eyebrow pencil. I use the same color. And I just go ahead and fill it in. And I like them natural looking because I hate when they're drawn on like too fake. And then it looks really no, no, stupid. Okay, I just on the wand, you know. So when I do my makeup, I have a lot more room. And I use the brush to blend it in. I use the same lid and I add my blush. And not a lot, but nobody just has like, well, I guess. But it looks better when you contour your face a little bit more on both sides, so make sure it's still recording. Yep. So I dip my blush in there, shake it off, and I smile and I put it on the apples on my cheeks. Like so. Okay, now I get to the other side. Okay. And for lip, I have Revlon Cream Gloss. 
in coral crush on coral, coral. And you just put the bottom it's a really pretty color and it's light and it's gonna go good with our eye makeup because i'm gonna do light pink shades of blue so just put that on that's not very good though now we're gonna move on to the eyes and i no longer use liquid eye, uh, eye liner y'all i just use the black eyeshadow and I use a thin brush like this works just as good stays on longer i don't get like a smudge or you know sometimes the good eyeliner like peels off i don't get that either so um go ahead and put my eye base on i'm gonna use the light just a little bit and you want to put it everywhere you'll be having color like that My 120 palette. So I'll be using these two pinks. Are you subtle? <sighs> and this metallic blue. Two pinks, blue, two pinks, blue. And this cream I've been using for a highlight other than white. Kind of looked a little bit better. So go ahead and start with that lighter pink. And you're starting the corner. Okay, now we're gonna use that darker pink for right here. And they kind of look similar, but it gives like a, a slight offness. Let me have the seeds of your light on the outside. You just wanna do that one over the lid. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's very pink. And that blue's gonna be able to break it out. Flesh color, knee high, that I use for my lace front wigs. I use it for everything else. I just stretch it out a little bit and I put it over my cornrows and I just tuck all my hair in me. So, and it does one of two things it protects my hair from like rubbing against the wigs and it keeps the wig on. Ta-da. And this extra thing I just tuck it up too. Make sure all my hair's in it. Like that. Okay, I just my hair and go to the comb. And I had it for a while, I just didn't do a video on it. And because I wasn't feeling like rocking it yet. I bought it from Slater here a long time ago. Though. So I start from the back, and I put the comb down, which all these are so that's where my braids end. And then I pull it forward to like get to the crease up there. Just like that. And I show the comb's going inside the cap. And they hold real tight, see? That's all a cap. And then I pull it back a little bit, and I comb it backwards. But then, let's comb my hair on. And I can get rid of the comb. Yeah. Video. Which way? Short? Yep. Okay. And then Second. I pull it over. Let me go. I did. I don't have to brush it. But you can see my hair straightens pretty good. So let me find the brush. Though. I got my brush. And I just use it for smoothing not to actually brush out my hair. And I have some John Frieda anti frizz gel. I'm just going to use a little bit. And you don't want to make your hair like wet because then it'll curl again if your hair's like mine. And we'll just brush it off. Brush the curls. That way. I'm just brushing it off. Just like that. Just like that. And I use a little more. Just to smooth it. And I'll put some underneath for my edges. So they look kind of like edges. So I do that. And then you want to take a comb and comb the hair forward. Because it's the type of like front that needs that. And I would recommend leaving it like as little as your hair out as possible. Cause it's just a hassle to deal with well if you're natural with like too much but i mean you can make it work you can make this work if you don't want to apply heat like i did you can always um wrap your hair at night and flatten it with a stocking cap and sleep with it like that so it compresses your hair straight it kind of does the same thing so i'm just gonna brush it out and show you guys for that and the side, I'm gonna flip it up. So, this is my finished look. And I call this look my bubble gum.